welcome to Arya Dream Home Season 5. We saw some images of stunning homes in the last couple of weeks. Judging these 54 homes was not an easy task, but we have reached our 10 top dream homes. Let's meet our judges who made it possible. Anna Kuruvilla. Thank you, Priya. And Preeti Sunil. Thank you. The next house that has made it to the top 10 is Cherugara from Tripunitara. Hello everybody. Today I am standing in the entrance of the house in Pudegab, Tripunitara, Ernalum district. Just by standing here, if you look at it, beautiful house, right? So let's go in and check out. Now this is a 3,100 square foot area house with 4 bedrooms. While I stand here in this car parking space, this wall grabs my attention. If you're thinking that they have used bricks over here, then you're wrong. These are terracotta tiles that give a brick feel. Behind me you can see that wall over there, they have done the same thing. I'm standing next to the car parking area which has been blended quite beautifully with the house. The roof ceiling needs special mention over here with the pergola design. One more thing that I would like you to see is the landscape area which is spread across the house in the same proportion. Now if you see, I've been walking on the ramp over here which is unlike in the most of the house. So the exterior looks pretty interesting. Let's go in and check out the other details. Walking through the main door and you come, you see this space over here, that's the aquarium. One and a half feet down the ground, aquarium space, surrounded by white pebbles. Beautiful, right? Behind that is a wall that they have done. Uh, what they try to do is uh, not just leave the wall, you know, just like that. They have uh, created spaces for the showpieces along with the lighting. Now to talk about the flooring of this house. Well, it's green vertifile tiles throughout the house except the staircase which I will tell you about later. Now the ventilation of this house is empowered with the help of the windows which you will see this roller blends throughout the windows over the here in this house. One more thing that you need to notice over here is the lighting. You can have a look around and see the lighting which is quite nicely done. I'm standing next to dining hall over here. This you can see is a secret getaway to the plush lawns. Now to talk about the dining table, this is a furniture table with the glass top, wooden chairs. Above it you can see uh, the ceiling has been done using the wooden frames. Over here this is the um, entrance to the kitchen. Uh, they have provided with the wooden cabinets on both sides. <laughs> I'm standing at the entrance of the kitchen, wooden frame as you can see, cabinets on both sides where you can keep your glasses or crockeries, then we have a cabinet over here with drawers and everything again to keep your stuff. Modular kitchen with an electronic chimney, built-in ovens and a big enough fridge. The other thing that I'd like to tell you about is the quartz slab. This is not granite, this is not marble, this is quartz, artificial stone. Then the wooden cabinets, the dark brown wooden cabinets which complement with the cream vertifile tiles and the white walls. I'm standing at the master bedroom of this house and as you can see, same furniture type, dark brown furniture color with white walls. Uh, if I talk about the ventilation system, then uh, we got windows over here. The curtain matches with the uh, wall texture, that's like w white walls, so the curtain matches with them. And uh, one thing that I would like to say over here is the headboard. The headboard is not there. Uh, instead of that, what they have done is they have put the lighting over there. Above the headboard, they put lighting. So that can work as a reading space and would help you at night. Are you wondering what I'm doing over here? Well, I'm just sitting on the recliner and enjoying the space over here. This is a special bar come entertainment area as I would like to call it. Right in front of me is a big screen good enough to watch enjoy the home theater feel sitting on a nice cozy lounge. Behind me is the P 
place that you're gonna love it personal bar area yes you can stack up all your you know precious liquor bottles and everything right up there grab a drink sit here and relax thanks to the wooden frame uh, supported by the transmitting glass that helps you get a clear visual over there the white roller blend that you can see that's covering a window over there which helps in the ventilation system now there are two bedrooms in the upper floor one on my left one on the other side let's hear it from our judges what they have to say about this house we'll start with you preeti uh, in this house uh, mainly i got attracted the brick cladding uh, walls in the both the sides and also uh, they have done uh, uh, there is a bar area with an home theater that's also it's a small space but it is well uh, you i mean well space uh, yeah well utilized so these are the main things and so many niche works with lights and all these things are there uh, so uh, these are the uh, main things in this house that's come to yeah okay. according to my view this is a very simple house that you feel has grown from the ground they've used a lot of uh, natural material textures uh, uh, in the exterior the brick and there's a gray slate roof um and uh, they followed a theme inside the house the, if you've noticed it is off white and dark brown from the flooring to the woodwork to the furniture everything they've uh, stuck to the same color theme uh and a uh, lot of niches and uh, there are big windows without any grill work uh, which gives you a beautiful view to the outside so those were the views from our judges let's move on to our external judge mr rahim pavitran and see what he has to say about this house cherugara tirupunathara എക്സ്റ്റീരിയർ സെറ്റിംഗ് ഫോം ലാൻഡ്സ്കേപ്പ് ക്യാരക്ടർ എല്ലാത്തിനും കൂടി ഇരുപത്തഞ്ചിൽ പത്തൊൻപത് ബ്രിക്കിൻ്റെ ഉപയോഗങ്ങളിലൂടെയും കോമ്പൗണ്ട് വാളിൻ്റെ സിംപ്ലിസിറ്റിയിലൂടെയും വീട് ടോട്ടലായിട്ട് പുറത്തേക്ക് നല്ല വൃത്തിയായിട്ട് കാണാനും ഭംഗിയായിട്ടും തോന്നിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇരുപത്തി അഞ്ചിൽ പതിമൂന്ന് മാർക്കാണ് ഇൻറ്റീരിയർ ഇൻറ്റീരിയറിന് പുറമെ നിന്നുള്ള കാഴ്ചകളിൽ കുറച്ച് കുറവായിട്ടാണ് ഫീൽ ചെയ്തത് പതിമൂന്ന് മാർക്കാണ് ഇത് ഇൻറ്റീരിയർ മൊത്തത്തിൽ കിച്ചനും ബാക്കി എലിമെൻസും ലാൻഡ്സ്കേപ്പിനും എല്ലാത്തിനും കൂടെ കിട്ടിയിരിക്കുന്നത് ഡെക്കർ ലൈറ്റിങ്ങും ഉള്ളിൽ വളരെയധികം കുറഞ്ഞു പോയൊരു ഫീൽ ഉണ്ടായി പത്ത് മാർക്ക് വാല്യൂ ഫോർ മണി പതിമൂന്ന് മാർക്ക് ചെയ്ത് തന്നെ നന്നായിട്ട് വന്നിട്ടുണ്ട് അമ്പത്തഞ്ച് മാർക്കാണ് ഈ വീടിന് വന്ന പുതുമയുള്ളൊരു അപ്രോച്ച് പുറമേ നിന്ന് തുടങ്ങി വെച്ചിട്ട് അകത്ത് അത് അങ്ങോട്ട് മൊത്തത്തിലാക്കാൻ പറ്റാഞ്ഞതാണോ എന്താണോ എന്ന് അറിയില്ല വളരെ നന്നായിട്ടുള്ളൊരു വീടുണ്ട് അതുകൊണ്ടാണ് അമ്പത്തഞ്ച് മാർക്കിലേക്ക് ഇത് വന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് Cherugara has got a score of 55 out of 100 from Mr. Rahim Pavitran. Earlier it had got a score of 260. So that brings us to a total of 271 out of 350. The next house that has made to the top 10 is Sukriti from Tiruvallav. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Ideal Dream Home Season 5. I'm standing in front of Sukriti house in Tiruvallav. This house is approximately 6000 square feet in size. It's built in you know mixture of Kerala traditional and western style. To talk about the details of the landscape area. Well, they have taken care of small small things that have added beauty to this entire place. Uh, to talk about first of all they have designed the well kerala tradition style next to that we can also see a stone pergola design done which as uh, again a designer piece in the landscape area we have lawn space on both the sides of the house stone pavements lead to the entire to the car parking area which has been blended in quite beautifully is in an L shaped form it's also a set out area right next to the entrance door flooring used in this particular space is Ital uh, Italian marble and the border is being done with granite specific detailings of the exteriors are the wood paneling used and the lower they have done stone cladding which adds beauty to the monotonous wall then uh, they on the particular that wall side that's the closure of the veranda they have this done this uh, you know texture work that using the stone cladding a particular design which looks very pretty It 
It's a treat to the eyes right when I walk in. A contemporary outlook has been maintained of the decor. The ceiling use is wooden paneling with LED lights. Special mention about this uh, round hanging light. The decor and lighting truly emphasize on the warm factor. They have used cream sofa settings and the cream curtains, so it complements it. The chandelier putting light upon this, you know, the in decoration use. They also have a showpiece design right in the corner of the room. Then uh, something particular about this space is actually this is the partition area. The sliding door, is, you know, it opens up to the courtyard, so that's a glass door partition. Also, if I talk about the ceiling, then it's a wood paneling done on both the sides. Center is occupied by the chandelier. On uh, the sides, they have the wood paneling that's covered by the LED lights. The center courtyard, which is also the focal point of three main areas, the official living area, the family living space, and the dining area. Now the deco has been done with real antique manner. Uh, it's a framed South Indian door with a small board design. Travertina wall cladding has been done up to the level of first floor. Now the flooring design, deck wood flooring has been done in the place and a perimeter of it, white stones, white pebbles actually have been used to add up the beauty and attraction of this particular space. To start talking about the details of the dining area, the first thing that I would like to tell you guys is uh, the centerpiece is designed by cut walnut shells. The same material has been used in the backrest of the small couch uh, as well as the handles of the side cabinet. Well, it's an eight, eight uh, seater square table. Normally what we see is a rectangle shaped dining table used but nevertheless it's a, it's a square table. In the ceiling they have done wooden paneling but diffuse lighting hasn't provided. The master bedroom design and decor has been done in the contemporary manner. To start talking the detailing, first of all, the flooring use is Italian uh, mirror finish marbles in the entire house except a few areas. Um, they have a little sofas too in the you know, sofa as a furniture in the master bedroom. Two windows on opposite sides which helps in the ventilation and lighting. Uh, the color scheme is kept light shaded. Uh, even the, you know the mattress finish the curtains it's actually light shaded the uh, furniture everything goes in the same color scheme Now I enter the kitchen, it's actually a German modular type and to talk about the detailing, first of all they have a small breakfast counter, it's a four seater breakfast counter. The counter, the slab has been uh, done with using glass marble completely, that's the slab they have used. They also have a wood panel, the wooden dish has been provided to keep the cereals and essential you know, breakfast items. Then the cabinets use, actually cabinets are multicolored, it's white and black. The below the cabinets have been done with black color, above they have white. It's actually multi-wood, the design that you see that's multi-wood with uh, glass top paneling. Uh, they also have a built-in microwave, electric oven and the dishwasher. the 
monotony of the stair wall, the stained glass design will lower windows on either side. Right next to it, the suspended lights with a rustic look has been attached to it. Uh, they also have an intonation wood piece with extensive detailing, you know, it's actually in the form of a jerry car. Now, uh, there's also a thing to note that the eight slit pieces, you know, on the wall, the eight slit pieces that emits a lot of uh, natural light in the daytime. Flooring in this entire area is solid wood. They have used except in the bedrooms a little different. Otherwise in the main hall it's solid wood flooring has been used. That's all of the decor. Um, that door leads us to the balcony space outside which also the sit out area and the party corner. They have two bedrooms on this floor and also a home theatre. The decor of the balcony is entirely different. They are made at a relaxation counter with the outside bar setup. It's a comfortable space to talk about the detailing. Uh, first of all, deck wood has been used in the entire space. In the perimeters of it, there's like the white and red pebbles. Just added a special attraction to this corner. Let's hear it from our judges. What according to them are the highlights of this house? We'll start with you, Anna. It's a sprawling big house built on the traditional lines. And you see attention to details and from landscape to the interiors. Uh, beautiful landscape with a lot of elements as accents. Uh, it's uh, well placed and uh, there is uh, a lot of uh, details, beautiful details. A couple of things that cat caught my eye was uh, uh, in the home theatre, they've used old movie posters as uh, the wall decor. That's something very interesting. And uh, there's a beautiful patio next to the family area, uh, which is kind of covered and they've decorated with uh, deck wood and a uh, little bit of pebble garden and all that. And uh, it's like an unf unfolding canvas. Like you, you want, you're curious to know what is there in the next room. The rooms are treated well. They've used a lot of mirrors in the wardrobes, which uh, gives uh, the bedrooms a more spacious feel than what it is. And uh, the detailing uh, makes it uh, eligible to be in the top ten of Idea Dream Home. Uh, Preeti, what do you, uh, what did you like about this? Yeah, home? The, all the everything as Anna has told uh, as well as. The same thing, this traditional and western side, they have beautiful elements are put into the house. So and it's a big house, so whatever things we uh, we wanted to do, we can do in that, that 6,000 square feet, uh, that's a house. And uh, well, uh, there are so many wooden uh, elements are put into the house. It's not a, I mean, a, a simple uh, thing. It's uh, so many wooden crafts and uh, wooden uh, ceilings are there with the uh, cove lights and all these things. And uh, of course there is also a that home theatre has uh, been uh, done with that wall posters is also a very capture in this home. So it comes into the top 10. Those were the highlights according to our judges. Let's see what our external judge has to say about Sukriti. Sukriti Tiruvalla. This is a Kerala architecture, a color scheme, a trendy color scheme. This is a very nice exterior setting, landscape, and the mood of the world. This is a landscape in Kerala elements. There are many things in the <coughs> in the interior, there are Kerala architecture elements in the exterior. There are many things in the exterior. There are many things one uh, interior space, interior landscape element, kitchen, bathroom, all that. That is very much and lighting in a very much Value for money. Kerala is wood 
യൂസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അത് ചില കുട്ടികൾ നമുക്ക് യൂസ് നല്ല രീതി തന്നെ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിലും വാല്യൂ ഫോർ മണി ലൈറ്റ് സ്റ്റോണും കണ്ണയിൽ സോളാറും ഒക്കെ വെച്ച് നോക്കുമ്പോൾ ലൈറ്റ് അകത്തേക്ക് പകൽ വെളിച്ചം കടന്ന് വര വരവത്തിൽ കുറവുള്ള പോലെ തോന്നി അപ്പോൾ അതിനൊരു പതിനഞ്ച് മിനിറ്റ് ഇതെല്ലാം വീഡിയോയിൽ കണ്ട പ്രകാരമുള്ളൊരു കാര്യങ്ങളാണ് ഇരുപത്തഞ്ചിൽ പതിനഞ്ച് കൊടുത്തിട്ടുണ്ട് മൊത്തത്തിൽ നൂറിൽ എഴുപത്തഞ്ച് മാർക്ക് ഇതിനെ അറ്റൻഡ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുണ്ട് നല്ലൊരു വീടാണ് കിട്ടുന്നത് Sukriti has got a score of 75 on 100 from Mr. Rahim Pavitran. Earlier it had got a score of 217 from Anna and Arun. Totaling up the scores, we have 292 out of 350 for Sukriti from Tiruvella. That brings us to the end of this segment. Keep watching Idea Dream Home Season 5 to know which is the next house that makes it to the top 10. Mm.